All right, this is uh, just another video in our water trap series. Um, if you can see how this roof is, um, you'll see this section is steeper than this section. All right, where this section comes in to this section is called a transition. Um, and if you can look down through here, I don't know if you can see it, um, what we have is basically a, uh, a gully that's been formed um, in this transition. Now, when you uh, install shingles in a transition, typically what you don't want to do is you don't want to nail in the transition. Um, by nailing in this transition, if water gets in through here, it'll run along this gully and it will go in where these nails are. Um, if you can see this nail here, it's sideways. Um, and it actually has a hole for water to go through. And you can see this nail isn't down. This one's not in much better shape. Um, but when you do a transition, what you want to do is you want to run your last shingle in. You don't want to nail it in the transition. You want to nail it as high as you possibly can. All right. <clears throat> then, before you put your next shingle in, you want to run a starter. Just It's just like starting a new roof. You've got to run a starter um, along your transition once the pitch changes. They should have actually put something in here to build this up. Um, since they didn't, that's why we have this gully. Um, and if you'll see right here, we've actually got what I call a crotch nail, or a crotch in the seams. Now you can see where the two shingles come together. Um, and water will go in that crack right there. Now if you put a nail in this crack underneath, it's going to draw in water. Um, and that's basically what they've done. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to replace this transition and eliminate this water trap. And um, <clears throat> as I go along doing this, I will update this video. Alright, uh, we're on a transition repair. And what I want to show you in this video is just what happens to the shingles um, if you don't fasten them correctly. Um, if you've got a, you know, blow throughs like this and this, um, I just want to show you how easy it is for that shingle to come disconnected from the roof. And if you can see just right there that these shingles, you know, by having blow throughs like that, they just come right out. Um, it doesn't even take five or ten pounds of pressure to actually pull this shingle out. Um, we'll look at this one too. Now see this has got blow through, blow through, blow through, uh, blow through, and blow through. Now, if you'll just look, now that thing just comes out so easy. I mean just a just a little bit of uh pressure will pull that shingle out now the thing is the uh, adhesive has been sitting on the deck that's the only thing that's holding this roof to this deck um, now we've got this uh, transition out and by having it out it actually gives you a better idea of um, you know what's going on now we'll just take a look and you can just see the gully really clearly. Um, and these, these nails are just blow throughs. Um, you should never nail in a transition. Um, and if you can see right here we've got a really deep divot there and then you've got penetrations in there which is, uh, is, a, is a terrible thing. Um, but anyway, 